Capitalism has neither the capacity, nor the morality, nor the ethics to solve the problems of poverty. I began revolution with 82 men. If I had to do it again, I'd do it with 10 or 15 and absolute faith. It does not matter how small you are if you have faith and plan of action. Why do some people have to go barefoot so that others can drive luxury cars? Why are some people able to live only 35 years in order that others can live 70 years? Why do some people have to be miserably poor in order that others can be extravagantly rich? I speak for all the children in the world who don't even have a piece of bread. It does not matter how small you are if you have faith and a plan of action. The first thing dictators do is finish free press to establish censorship. There is no doubt that a free press is the first enemy of dictatorship. We must establish a new world order based on justice, on equity, and on peace. Condemn me, it does not matter. History will absolve me. One of the greatest benefits of the revolution is that even our prostitutes are college graduates. If surviving assassination attempts were an Olympic event, I would win the gold medal. Ideas do not need weapons. I've always considered Christ to be one of the greatest revolutionaries in the history of humanity. Quality of life lies in knowledge, in culture. Values are what constitute true quality of life, the supreme quality of life, even above food, shelter and clothing. A revolution is a struggle to the death between the future and the past. If we wish to express what we want the men of future generations to be, we must say, let them be like Che. If we wish to say how we want our children to be educated, we must say without hesitation, we want them to be educated in Che's spirit. If we want the model of a man, who does not belong to our times but to the future, I say from the depths of my heart that such a model, without a single stain on his conduct, without a single stain on his action, is Che. Good athletes do not know what tiredness is. They do not know what discouragement is. Good athletes only know what victory is. We are not politicians. We made our revolution to get the politicians out. A large percentage of those living in developed societies are told what brand of soda they should drink, what cigarettes they should smoke, what clothes and shoes they should wear, what they should eat and what brand of food they should buy. Their political ideas are supplied in the same way. Every year a trillion dollars is spent on advertising. The truth is that after several decades of neoliberalism, the rich are becoming increasingly richer while the poor are both more numerous and increasingly poorer. All criticism is opposition. All opposition is counter-revolutionary. If people call me Christian, not from the standpoint of religion but from the standpoint of social vision, I declare that I am a Christian. We have a theoretical concept of the revolution which is a dictatorship of the exploited against the exploiters. When I was a young boy, my father taught me that to be a good Catholic, I had to confess at church if I ever had impure thoughts about a girl. That very evening, I had to rush to confess my sin. And the next night, and the next. After a week, I decided religion wasn't for me. 
Men do not shape destiny. Destiny produces the man for the hour. Nowhere in the world, in no act of genocide, in no war, are so many people killed per minute, per hour and per day as those who are killed by hunger and poverty on our planet. I am a Marxist-Leninist and I will be one until the last day of my life. I think that a man should not live beyond the age when he begins to deteriorate, when the flame that lighted the brightest moment of his life has weakened. I'm not attached to anything. I'm attached to what it feels it's my duty, to do my duty. I think that I will die with the boots on.